Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today I have a review video. I just finished cracking open a 1990 top cello box. This is my second 1990 top cello box that I've cracked open on the channel. Just like last time, I assigned myself a science project. If you didn't check it out, I've included a link to my 1990 top cello box science project part two preview video. So what did I hope to achieve with the second part of my science project? I wanted to test the theory to see how close I could come to building a complete set of 1990 tops baseball cards from a cello box. In part one of my science project, I was able to reach 70% of a complete set. My goal for part two of my science project was to reach 75% or better. A second goal was to see if I could complete a 1990 tops baseball set from two cello boxes. Well, now the time has come to analyze the findings. There were 24 packs in the cello box. Each pack had 31 cards. Doing the math, the best I hoped to achieve without duplicates was 744 different cards. In order to build 75% of a complete set, I needed to open 594 different cards from the cell box. How did I do on part two of my science project? I was able to pull 640 different cards. I was able to reach 81% of a complete set. That was an 11% improvement from my first cell box. That's outstanding. I reached my first goal, but could I reach my second goal of completing a set from two cello boxes? In my first cello box, I opened 548 different cards with 178 duplicates and 18 triplicates. After opening my second cello box and sorting all the cards, I fell just 25 cards short of a complete set. I ended up with 640 different cards. I had 102 duplicates and only two triplicates. In opening 767 of the 792 cards, I was able to complete 95% of the set. Out of the 25 cards that I'm missing, only Wade Boggs was the major superstar. The rest were just commons. Fortunately, I was able to pull every major rookie. Frank Thomas, Larry Walker, Juan Gonzalez, Sammy Sosa, Delino DeShields, Bernie Williams, and Marquise Grissom. Completing the set would have been nice, but getting within 25 cards is still awesome. As usual, I like to look at the financial aspect of comparing what I spent on the box versus the value of the cards I opened. I've been quite lucky in hunting for bargain value. I was able to purchase the cello box for $18. Going through the cards, I found that I had the following cards valued at a dollar or more. The prices may be slightly off based upon which source for card values you're using, of course. Here is a rundown of the cards valued at around a dollar. Nolan Ryan, George Brett, second year Kurt Schilling, but his first tops card, Roger Clemens, Albert Don't Call Me Joey Bell, his first tops card, Juan Gonzalez rookie, Frank Thomas rookie, second year card of Randy Johnson, I got two copies of that, Second year of John Smoltz, I got two copies of that. Cal Ripken Jr., Mark McGuire, rookie card of Sammy Sosa, Bernie Williams rookie card, Marquise Grissom rookie card, and Larry Walker rookie card. That's 17 cards with a value around a dollar, plus another five to 10 stars with a value around 50 to 75 cents. From a financial aspect of an $18 purchase, I'd say this box was a winner. Not as good financially as my first box, which was a $12 purchase, but still a great price for some awesome cards. Now, there were some cards that I really enjoyed. There is a Nolan Ryan subset that features each team Nolan Ryan played for in his career, Mets, Angels, Astros, and Rangers. The subset was put together to highlight Nolan Ryan reaching 5,000 strikeouts. With his base card, they are the first five cards in the set. There is also a commemorative card of A. Bartlett Giamatti, who was the commissioner of baseball during the 1989 season, passed away shortly after the All-Star break. He is the father of actor Paul Giamatti. As I cracked each of the packs, sometimes I would spotlight a funny photo or something that made me laugh. And here are some of those cards that are kind of funny. First up is Zane Smith. He usually has some sort of goofy look on his face. This one is like, what, did you say I'm a major league pitcher? Bob Nepper has this look on his face like, did you say what about my mom? Sergio Valdez, thinking somebody behind the photographer is pickpocketing his teammate. Don Paul is an announcer name, but he looks very excited to be a major league baseball player. Kevin Tapani 
has quite a chin. I've never seen a dimple that deep on anyone's chin before. This photo always makes me laugh. Brian Clutterbuck. First of all, the name is really hard to say and you gotta be careful when you say it. Second, is he someone that they brought from accounting? Vance Law, utility infielder for most of his career. Just casually enjoying pre-game before he goes and rides the pine. Ken Phelps, Melvin from Office Space. Where's your stapler at, Ken? Mike Scott, I think uses the same optometrist that Ken Phelps does. Mitch Webster with the GQ photo in 1990 tops. Looking sharp, Mitch. Wrong car device. Do you want to guess how old he is in this card? If you said 55, you'd be wrong. If you said 45, you'd be wrong. If you said 35, you'd be wrong. Let's try 26. Karkovice didn't really age that well. And finally, Dave Smith. Just a good old country boy ready to go in and close out the game. Overall, part two of my science project was a lot of fun. I felt that it was a success. I reached my first goal in completing over 75% of the set from a cello box. I was able to get within 25 cards of completing a set with two cello boxes. Finally, I was able to open enough value in cards to make my $18 purchase worthwhile. Even if I didn't open that much in value, cracking any packs from the 80s or 90s is just a nice walk down memory lane. The only bummer was I didn't get the mythical, legendary, no name on front Frank Thomas rookie. I was so close. Well, there are still hundreds, thousands, maybe even a million unopened 1990 tops packs floating around. I'm sure eventually I'll pull the no name Frank Thomas one day. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Till next time when I'm back to crack some more baseball packs.